Hey everybody, this is Chumley exploring up close in Penland, North Carolina. Behind me, you see a, a beautiful and remarkable building. It's known as the Craft House. In a lot of ways, it's the heart and soul of this crafts community. Um, Penland has an amazing story and it involves a brother and sister team. Uh, it turns out uh, two siblings, uh, Rufus and Lucy Morgan, who found themselves growing up in the Franklin, North Carolina area around the turn of the 20th century, uh, feeling like they were the only Episcopalians that they knew. Their father was just a convicted Episcopalian, and by golly, they would be the backbone of a very small church in Franklin. But apparently that upbringing took because Rufus, the older brother, went into the ministry and had the opportunity to come to Penland, North Carolina in the 19-teens where the Episcopal Church, the Diocese of Western North Carolina, operated a mission school. Rufus taught at that school that was called the Appalachian School and then invited his sister Lucy to come and join after she had a teaching degree. She did as a approximately 20-year-old young person around the year 1920. In the area, she got to know lots of the locals and took a great interest not only in the stories they told, but also in uh, their folk skills. Um, ultimately, she had the opportunity to go to Berea, Kentucky, study uh, the, uh, the art of weaving on hand looms, purchased some of those looms, brought them back here to Penland, and her idea was to not only include looming or weaving as a part of the curriculum here at the school, uh, but she also wanted to cultivate that craft among the local women who had some at least remnant of it. Some were skilled, but it was a dying art, and she wanted to create an economic market for them to sell their hand-loomed goods. Well, that's exactly what happened over time. Um, the Appalachian School eventually closed when public education came to Mitchell County, uh, but the Penland Craft School really took hold. And by 1926, when this building was begun, uh, it was starting to attract support from across the country and eventually international support. Uh, so thanks to Lucy Morgan, what now still thrives as the Penland School of Crafts was planted here in the beautiful Penland Cove, Mitchell County, North Carolina in the 1920s.